Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Minibytes. I'm your friend Amazon Sektivel. In this video, we will refactor our existing driver factory class with, with the functional way of doing things. And there is certain things that we have missed while writing the code, uh, like following the clean coding principles. So we will also do that and try to optimize the existing class uh, with these you know, functional programming and the clean code. So let's not waste much time here and switch to iterative. So this is a driver factory code that we have written and this looks really good, right? So it, it, the methods are very clean. You know, we are just uh, having one condition check. And if it is true, it's going to return this. And if it is false, it's going to return this. Very, very simple things. Uh, looks okay. Promising for us. Everything good. But one small problem here is um, as per the convention, as per the design uh, practices, if there is a factory method uh, being used, it is normally believed that these methods will return the implementing classes alone, the implementations. Let's say if there is an interface called as animal and there are a uh, bunch of impl implementation for this uh, classes, uh, there are dog, cat, you have multiple other implementations. Okay, so this is an interface. These are multiple uh, implementations for this particular interface then a factory method is expected to return uh, an implementation, the instance itself and not, uh, you know, you, you call some methods to in it and then you return it. So this is okay, it will work absolutely fine. Doesn't make a lot of, you know, damages, but still, if you want to do it right way, when we are doing it, maybe, uh, you know, we'll try to do it right way if you know what is the right way, right? Because that's how people will think, right? So if there is a new, uh, developer coming to your team, he wants to check, okay, he understands there is something called as a driver factory and he expects, uh, you know, some implementations to be written from it and not the driver itself. So, you know, it's, it, you know, if you want, you can fix it. Otherwise you can, you can leave it like this if you are feeling very comfortable, but we'll, we'll fix it and we'll also see how that can make our code much better way. So this is one thing. And the second one is we are still using the, you know, the if conditions checks. Again, uh, you can optimize this with the supplier so that, you know, supplier, the advantage of using supplier interfaces, it gives you lazy evaluation. So you can build the object only if it is needed, right? So that's that's pretty good advantage, right? So building an object is, it involves cost and time, right? So we don't want to do that unless it is really needed. So we can try to optimize this with, with uh, let's say, I'll create a small map and that takes in, let's say, converting this uh, if condition to a, to a map is very, very simple logic. So what we have here is run more type. So let's create a map with with key as one more type and the value will be of supplier and what supplier right so what it returns so supplier means it will return something and in our case this is the reason why we have created these interfaces so these interfaces are are pretty common uh, so the, the class is here the local web driver impl and the remote web driver impl both are implementing i web driver so now i have a return type that i can easily guess so I web driver, right? Guys, this might look a little tricky, but guys, believe me, uh, this will make your code much neater, right? And also, if you are not feeling very comfortable with Java 8 for now, uh, it's okay, but check out my Java 8 playlist. You'll get very familiar with this, right? And now I'll, I'll declare it as web and uh, let's keep it as enum map because we have a map that is having keys with enum, so we can call it an enum map. So what kind of enum it is? It is run more type dot class, right? As simple as that. And let's also duplicate this line and let's replace i web driver with i mobile driver, and we'll also create one for uh, replacing this particular method call. Okay, and this is also going to hold this, right? So there is no not much of difference apart from the you know uh, the key value that we are going to store. So now what I can also do is, you know, um, create a static block and store some values into these maps. Okay. So the maps will hold. So web dot uh, push. I want to put a run more type dot local. And if someone is calling web, if, if, the, if the, the test is web and also we want to run it on local, I want to return this, right? Copy this and paste it here, right? And we also need to put supplier implementation, right? So we need to put it like this. Again, this is lazy evaluation. So you can also change it to a method reference, okay? You can say, hey, this is, you can replace this with the method reference. Yes, I want to do that. 
right same way web dodge coach if the run mode type is remote i want to return remote uh web driver impulse yeah so that's that's how easy it is and let's duplicate these two lines and uh, let's copy and so let's put mobile here and let's put mobile and here it is local mobile driver impul and remote mobile driver impul right as easy as that and here we want to replace this with local it's local yeah so all good now right so instead of get driver for web we just need uh, you know we will come on to this code okay i'll come on this code and we'll simply say return uh, the map so we have a map web right so web dot get okay i want to get something okay what i want to get whatever the run mode you want i'll get it based upon it so instead of having this here we'll just make it as a uh, run mode type okay run mode. that's it now whatever the run mode you pass i'm going to fetch the corresponding implementation for you for the web okay and i can call the get method okay this basically changes the return type to i web driver right and let's go here and if you notice here you don't have to pass the entire driver data you just need to pass the run mode type okay i can just pass this run mode type okay and here you can just call get driver and pass the driver data okay guys that's it so if you also notice now the code is much readable again if you are going to use the run mode type only uh, you know here and uh, we don't need to pass it as, as you know you don't have to build in the web driver data so let's go to the web driver data and let's remove this we don't need that at all the same way uh, we'll go to mobile driver data and uh, we'll also remove this again this looks <clears throat> we added it but we are now removing it because we don't see a need for that and then let's go to the driver factory again and yeah this is all set let's remove this okay the same way we will copy this we'll replace this with is and sorry we have to put mobile here and if somebody is passing me run more time so it's as easy as that okay and there is some problem here let's go ahead and when you are calling this you don't have to pass the entire thing just pass what is the mobile run mode that's it now once you get that you call the get driver right uh, let's remove this get driver for mobile should return i mobile driver right and go there call get driver method and pass the whole driver data that's it right very very easy guys so let me i am to be there and i'll tell you what we are doing right previously we are passing the entire driver data but we understood the driver factory have to only return the implementations and not a method you know from this implementation so what we did is we slowly optimized this driver factory and then we are calling the get driver from web and we are just passing the only required value that is what is the run mode that we want to pass it will go here let's say we are, we are passing local it will come here okay okay you want you have web in hand you have local in hand so what i do i'll fetch web and then i'll check i'll get the key with local okay and then it's going to return you a supplier implementation of this local web driver return impl right and uh, we are calling this so we are getting that particular thing now you can call all the methods from this class right and you have one implemented method there so we are going to call that get driver method and this get driver method accepts the driver data that we built and we are passing that there. that's it guys so as easy as it is same way like this right for for the mobile as well it, it works the same way now if you notice the code looks much much neat very clean and if you want to add more things as well you can add it very easily and one of the pretty good advantages we are using supplier interface which means it will be lazily evaluated so that's how we can optimize this particular piece of code with java 8 functional programming 
and also knowing about the clean code. Again, guys, I could also optimize this even further. Uh, like I can, since if you notice, key is same. I can also create one interface on top of this and I can return that particular thing and combine these two methods into one. But I think, you know, uh, for me, the readability is very important. So I'll try to keep it at this particular level. Again, guys, if you don't feel very comfortable using this, at one point of time down the lane, maybe one year or two years down the lane, you have to get comfortable. So you cannot run away. Please start using all these things in your code. And uh, if you feel very, uh, you know, not comfortable, watch my Java 8 playlist. I'll leave that in the description. I will hope you have a very wonderful day. Thank you all. Bye-bye.